startup spaces have a reputation for being fun and interactive. Tell us what CB Insights office is like. We are not the type of startup with like a ball pit and jungle gym. Like we don't really do all that. I, I, partly because I think we're so focused on customers and on just, you know, revenue. So it's, we're pretty, we're heads down when it comes to our work. You know, I think, you know, we have a gong, which when somebody does something meaningful, whether it's a sale or something developed or they wrote a research brief that's doing really well, um, folks will ring and you know then you'll kind of run back to your email and see what it was about because they'll send an email out to the team. Mm -hmm. So I think we do things that are you know events and team building type of things but the office itself is like I think we want a place where people want to hang out and enjoy coming to work and so we're actually like redesigning our office and getting an interior decorator right now to do all of that. So it'll be a nice place to work but it's not kind of crazy with all sorts of like adornments you know we provide lunch to the team every day um, so you know it's got some of those those sort of key things that we think make life nice for folks snacks and cereal and fruits and all that good stuff but yeah nothing uh, nothing too crazy and a great culture right? yeah I, mean, I think so culture can... like you know I think a lot of times people mistake ball pits and ping pong tables and foosball tables with culture and you know those are nice things to have but I don't think like having beer in the fridge is culture, right? I mean, I think it could be a nice thing to have it, and it could be a great thing for the team to just like bond and do things like that. But I don't, I don't know if those tactics are what determine culture. I think you have a culture and then you'll do things that maybe reinforce that. Um, and so I think that's our approach to it. Uh, but we're still learning how to do this for sure.